Hi, my name is Teresa Seeley. I'm with the Racetrack Programs here at Olds College. And I'm going to show you how to tie a quick release knot. Now at the racetrack, some trainers tie up, others don't. Some will use bungees tied to the wall and others will use a shank like I'm going to show you today. The safest way to tie up a horse is with a quick release knot. So if the horse gets into trouble, you can quickly grab it and get it undone. So I'm going to tie my quick release knot to something solid and these corner bars in the stall are quite solid so that the horse can't pull the stall down or break part of the stall out. So I'll take the end of my shank and run it through with the screw eye in the stall to do this. And I bring it up so that the horse um, still has some room to move around but isn't in my way to tie the knot. My left hand the back of my hand, and I can look at the back of my hand and take the shank and do a twist of the wrist to make a loop. With my right hand, I'm going to go across the part that is tied to my horse to make a loop, and it looks kind of like a cowboy hat or a letter A, number four. Around there, and I'm going to push that loop through and tuck that up snug, okay? And then I push that up to what I'm tying to nice and snug okay that is a quick release knot because I can pull the end of the shank and it comes loose and the horse can can get away one more time just a little bit faster back of my hand twist of the wrist making a loop around the shank part tied to the horse don't put my fingers through that's an important point because you can lose fingers that way push that up to what I'm tying the horse to and I have my quick release knot tied. Now some horsemen will pull the end of that shank through here. Now you don't have a quick release knot. If you pull that I've got a knot. So it's best to just leave that loose. And I'm done.